Hello friends! Last week I started answering your questions. There were questions about gear, my start in photography, and choosing gear for adventures. You can see that video at the link above, but now it's time for me to answer the second half of your questions. My first question is from Olaf, who asks, Can you give me some tips on taking pictures of a cosplayer? Please and thank you. Here are two tips. One, get to know the theme a little bit. That way you'll know what's important about the costume or what the character is like. For example, if you're photographing a dark character, you probably won't be wanting to tell them to smile for the camera. Or maybe you will, but probably not. <laughs> and two, create an atmosphere for the photograph. Here's an example from one of my shoots last October. I was dressed up as a droid and I made a spaceship style environment in my studio. And who am I gonna kid? I was trying to recreate the Death Star. Robert asks, where do you see the focus, pun intended, of Snapchick in the next year or two? Funny, Robert. <laughs> and that is a great question. I do have some things planned, some big things actually. I'm not quite ready to share the specifics though. That being said, I always want to push my boundaries in photography, which sounds a little cliched, but let me be specific. For me, being Snapchick and creating new photo shoots and new adventures, big and small, every week for you guys, pushing my boundaries often means creativity and actively seeking out new and different inspiration. And incidentally, doing all of that on a budget. <laughs> Sometimes I like to reuse ideas to see if I can put a new spin on things, but typically I'm looking to share something fresh with you. Pushing my boundaries also means gear and techniques. Like last year, I got my first drone and I've been working it into my adventure videos. What else can I do to mix things up in the next weeks and months and years? I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> the little hamster on its wheel in my noggin is always running. So I'm often putting together photo shoots and adventures at the last minute and also planning for something next month at the same time, like right now. Fred asks, what do you think of Fujifilm? I've used the X100T. It was cool and almost great. And I think mirrorless cameras in general, they have a ways to go for me to fully get on board, but it hasn't stopped me from looking at them. I am definitely keeping my fingers crossed for the future of mirrorless. John says, what is a jackrabbit? This question was asked during Jackrabbit June, and John, I'm glad you asked. Jackrabbits are different from regular rabbits. This is a jackrabbit. They have longer ears, these pretty black markings on their fur. They're usually bigger and faster than rabbits, and they're self-sufficient quite early in life. Also, I think they might be my spirit animal. Blaz asks, have you ever run out of inspiration for photo shoots? It's happening to me. Any advice? I love your work. You're amazing. Thank you, Blas. I'm flattered. I have certainly run short on inspiration. I think everybody does. Um, I think everyone's going to find inspiration in different things. I mix it up to keep things fresh. Like I find that going outside <laughs> and getting my body moving helps me. I also like visiting a museum to get those creative juices going, sometimes with a camera, but sometimes without. And if I end up feeling like I wish I had my camera with me, I know I'm on the right track. Or sometimes I've just gone somewhere interesting with my camera, downtown, a botanical garden. Sometimes inspiration will strike. Occasionally I'll do some other sort of art activity like drawing or painting or even playing around with my Lego architecture studio. Something about all those monochromatic bricks feels like a clean slate. Bruce says, you only use Nikon cameras, but you test a wide range of other brands of video equipment. Why don't you also test Canon and other DSLR brands too? I do sometimes. Here's the thing though. It's not that easy to get my hands on new bodies and lenses. I purchased every one of the cameras and lenses that you see on those shelves that are normally behind me in my videos. I had a relationship with a camera rental company for a while, which is when I was able to get other brands in for a short time each. That being said, I do sometimes shoot Canon. Up until this week, I had a Canon Rebel T4i, but I just pre-ordered the new tiny little SL2, and you'll certainly be seeing some videos on that. I won't get it for a couple of weeks though, so 
If you're curious about that camera, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Sean asks, what's your favorite picture in your portfolio? Ugh, I have such a problem choosing favorites of anything. Right now, I'm still reveling in my recent trip to Yellowstone National Park and the bear that I met while I was there. So I'm gonna say that this is my favorite picture right now. You can see more about the bear in the video at the link above. But like I said, my, my favorites change by the week. John wants to know, what are the best triggers for either speed lights or studio flashes? I am asking because I got some shit speed lights from Viltrox. They work fine on the camera, but with their native triggers, they actually need new batteries after one day of shooting. The triggers that is, or they won't trigger. There are a lot of options available. I trigger my speed lights optically because I'm always the only one shooting. Regardless of how I trigger though, if I did a day of shooting, I'd be recharging my batteries anyway. If you haven't checked out Eneloop batteries, I suggest trying them out. They are rechargeable and they last longer than any other batteries that I have ever used. I'll put a link to those in the description below so that you can check them out. Jamie asks, how far are you willing to go to get that shot? Risking confrontation, embarrassment, arrest, injury, or death? Where's Snapchick's limit? Well, that's an interesting question. I don't really get embarrassed. Incidentally, I do have a shoot planned soon that is going to push the limits of me not caring what people think. I'm not big on breaking rules though, so arrest probably isn't a probability. I suppose I risked confrontation with a bear when I took that photo that I showed you earlier. And apparently I'm not averse to freezing myself to death because I'm willing to hang out with a bunch of bison in the snow. I'm willing to sit in the snow and have a picnic. And I'm willing to hike down into the Grand Canyon in the snow. Oh, and I'm willing to fly my drone in the snow. Duncan says, please explain the use of AE slash AF lock Nikon. Thanks. You're in luck. I anticipated your question years in advance and I made you a video. You can see it at the link up above. Steven asks, have you ever had a period of time where you didn't pick up your camera? If yes, how did you get back into the swing of things? Steve, I haven't talked to you in a while. How's things? Good. <laughs> As for your question, I have. In fact, every night I go hours without my camera. Can you even imagine? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm stalling because I'm trying to think of a time. Here's the thing, I've been Snapchick since 2009 and my job has been to take photos and talk about photography. So if I wanna eat, I have to pick up my camera. That being said, I've certainly had times when I've been maybe less than enthusiastic. Because it is my job though, I can't go a long time without maintaining that excitement. Luckily, I like what I do. I talked about what I do when I need to shake things up just a few minutes ago. You know, even just a, reading a book about art or about creativity or something like that can light a fire under me. And the last question today is for me. And that question is, what is July's monthly photography theme? Anybody? No? Well, I'm not answering it yet either. <laughs> I will, however, answer it in a video tomorrow. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel to see what I will be challenging us with this month. Thanks for your questions, everybody. Talk to you soon.